Covering an area of around 10.2 square kilometers and with forest coverage of 95%, Monkey Island is an ideal home for monkeys to live and breed. The island also has many caves, offering ideal wildlife safe havens. This is the location that more than 1,500 monkeys have chosen as their home. And to the people of Hainan province, they're more than welcome, as the lively monkeys attract more than 1 million tourists from home and abroad each year. I really like this scenic spot. You can only watch animals from a distance at Beijing Zoo, but there are so many restrictions there. Here, however, we can really get up close to the monkeys. I think this is a very interesting place. You can see humans and monkeys living peacefully side by side. It's not something you can see anywhere else. Today, the Monkey Island is a real homeland for monkeys. However, the situation 13 years ago was quite different. Back then, it was not uncommon for monkeys to attack humans, and surprisingly, the number of tourists were few. Huang Zhongshu and the rest of his family specialize in monkey taming. In 1999, Dai Guofu, the director of the scenic spot, went to central China's Henan, Huang's hometown, to invite him and his brothers to help protect and tame the monkeys on the island. My family first started to catch and tame monkeys during the Qing dynasty. After the National Animals Protection Law was launched, we had no other choice but to change careers. So we started to work to protect the monkeys, so that people can interact with the monkeys up close. Thanks to the joint efforts of Quang and his brothers, tourists are now able to see monkeys in their natural habitats, as well as watch a monkey acrobatic show. Tourists also have the chance to meet the monkeys. However, the main priority is to take care of and protect the monkeys. Managers of the scenic spot have built a so-called five-star swimming pool for the monkeys to enjoy. The pool is complete with sun lounges and beach umbrellas. The monkeys lounge in the sun and feast on a buffet of nuts. I think the swimming pool for the monkeys is quite impressive. We have also added some diving boards for some of them. When we see the monkeys enjoying swimming in the pool like human beings, it makes us feel very happy. We see our jobs as being like servants to the monkey masters, and duty of the servants is to make masters' life happy. In order to better protect the monkeys, the scenic spot has also implemented tourist disinfection channels. The rules include that tourists are not allowed to feed the monkeys with their own food. Monkey activity areas are regularly disinfected to prevent tourists from passing on germs to the monkeys. The health condition of the monkeys is also monitored regularly to prevent guests from being infected. Thanks to the ecological construction, the diversity of the monkeys has also been ensured. The number of the monkeys increased from more than 100 to 1800 in 2004. Their breeding and protection is quite natural. Next on the agenda for Dai and his staff are the precious maritime resources of the island. The island has long coastal lines with beautiful beaches, thick forests and bright sunshine. So Dai plans to take advantage of these resources and develop a new program targeting the wedding industry. We have a coastal line spanning four kilometers. There are also bridges and reefs along the coastal line which makes it ideal for wedding. We are also planning diving programs and sea performances. I don't think that these new programs will have any negative effects on the lives of the monkeys. On the contrary, it will only enrich tourist activities on island, which will lead to increased protection of the monkeys.